Alrighty guys, so composting toilet's back in place. Plumbing's looking a little better. Um, no smell out of this composting toilet, I love it. Um, the urinal bucket will smell. There's um, some things you can do for that. Now it only smells when you remove it to empty it outside or in your compost pile, etc, etc. Baking soda works good. You can put a couple droplets of bleach into the urinal bucket to cut the smell as well and bacteria. And uh, you know, uh, I've heard of people putting sugar in there because apparently that's supposed to help kill the smell. Um, you can look up all kinds of different methods, but that's it for now. So, um, it's getting nice out. Not a bad day. Uh, I will probably be, not today though, I'm going to try to get information on when I can get my propane tanks filled over at the uh, local gas station. I may take a ride over there just to ask them um, <clears throat> and go from there. Uh, I'll try to set up a date or time I can get over there and uh, do my stuff because that would be great and I'll just pay cash uh, for that and have 200 pounds of propane on the tiny house then. Plus, I got a little baby can down here. But other than that, I think we're coming really well here, guys. So, see you in a bit. Alrighty, guys. So, today, um, this battery is dead. I shut the electric blanket off the motor for the turbine. But what I want to do is I want to hook up and run the 12-volt pump. So, hopefully, I can do that. So before we can do that, I need to do some things because I want to transfer this water into the other tote. Now you guys see how much there's in there. Um, I want to transfer it up here so I can do a load of laundry and some cleaning, hopefully. So to do that, guys, all I have to do, uh, make sure my shutoff valve is closed there. And I got to open up this one. And the water will move over. Now I'm going to turn the pump on. Hopefully. Is it going to do anything for me? Uh oh, not good. Pump is not starting. Um, hold on. I gotta trace out some wires, apparently. Okay, try that. There we go. Whoops. A little bit went up. Was that smoke? Or am I seeing things? I don't think it's smoke. I hope. Let me feel. No. It's dead cold. Try turning it on. Wind turbines going crazy. The pipe is moving. Sounds like it is pumping. I think. 
Yeah. Hear it inside of there? There it goes. That pump's quiet, man. Compared to my other one, that crappy one that I got. Now this is closed. And this is closed, which is important. So it's going to struggle along to pump the water into the top of the tank um, just off of the wind turbine power. You guys see the motion of the So the pump is kind of pulsing it in. Which is, it's a nice quiet pump, but it's gonna take a while. But that should be okay, because the wind turbine will keep it doing its thing. Oh, there it goes. Now it's moving. I guess we didn't have enough juice. 12.8. And look at this one, guys. This guy is dead. Totally dead. The pump is moving, but it's struggling. That's crazy. Um, I just wanted to try this out because I'm going to be staying here um, sometime soon. Um, and it would be nice to have a shower um, with this water. But, like I said, we got the battery down here. So that's not good. And this guy's trying to do what he can basically so we'll see what happens here once I get the uh, there it goes once as the turbine spools up okay it's slowly chugging along and once it gets a lot of that air out of there that'll be really good You guys can see there, water levels start to go up. Make sure this is closed as well. some air out of the lines too. Sounds like it's coming in pretty steady now. Good. It's strange because the pump cycles on like that and then starts dumping and continues dumping without running again.
this water has only been treated with bleach and it's been filtered a couple times uh, just with some you know just with the first flush system and my little nylon baby up there um, but other than that it's just been chemically treated with bleach and I'll be using it for showers and washing uh, dishes and doing laundry here at the off-grid tiny house now it'd be nice to have way more water than that but that's a decent amount I can get some stuff done I'm just deciding on should I use some of my water up because I know rains in the forecast um, should I use some of my water up to wash my bag of rags here that probably won't need a whole lot of water or not or take that to my parents place to wash we'll see I want to run this as long as I can so the wind turbines basically powering solo the uh, pump, 12 volt pump which is pretty sweet <laughs> and this battery is L trash complete trash I want to basically run that battery into the ground as well and get one brand new 100 amp hour and I'll probably just get a deep cycle lead acid for here just to run the pumps and stuff because uh, I don't use them very often so that's pretty cool we're getting there guys we are getting there I like it and we don't have any leaks it looks like no leaks because that's a lot of water pressure well a lot of weight pushing through those pipes weight of the water anyway not real pressure but probably weight from the the water gives the pressure but anyways um, so this guy's due for a cleaning and uh, yeah much needed and I need to bring some soap over here unless I'm just gonna use baking soda it's gonna be one of those things maybe I don't know but at least the wind turbine is pumping my water and going to town oh I see what it's doing so when the wind turbine gets up to 13 or so that switch that relay switch clicks dumps some juice into this guy which is wired to the pump and off it goes um, that will be fixed though once these batteries are out of here and I get a decent one and I'm going to do a full rewire as well as on the roof I will be turning the there's, I have four panels up there and they're exact same panels as down there but they're not in series up here they're in parallel not good so I gotta put them in series uh, get that going so I'll have solar and turbine on that on this battery and that will kind of keep things hunky-dory um, with that battery and it'll basically just run some lightings and lights in the bathroom and the pump like I said and other things like that and that's that's about it so yeah it's doing its thing slowly it's gonna be a while so I'm just gonna let that thing go and um, get another project done as it goes